Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna review the HK9 Pro smartwatch. I have already opened the box before, but I have restored it to its original state so that we can take a look together at what's inside. The HK9 Pro comes with detachable straps and wireless USB charger. This is an Apple Series 8 watch clone, but it is 1mm larger. The exterior is exactly the same as the original, even in size, and it is slightly larger but not noticeable. If you buy an original case to protect your watch, then you will notice that it is slightly larger. Even if you buy a silicone case with some stretch, it will still fit perfectly, but if you buy a hard case, you will notice that the watch is slightly larger than the original. I think this size difference is related to licensing rights. The display is an AMOL LED screen, which means it is difficult to find smartwatch technology with a better quality screen. Even if you find better one, it would likely be expensive. Some LED screen watches have lower resolution and fewer pixels, but the HK9 Pro has a good resolution. Of course, as this is a review video, it is important to mention both the strengths and weaknesses of the product rather than just focusing on the positive aspects like a marketer would. However, let's take a look at the difference between an IPS screen and an AMOLED screen. An IPS screen does not show true black colors, whereas an AMOLED screen displays true black because each pixel has individual lighting. That's correct, on an IPS screen, blacks tend to look more like dark grey. I'll talk about what I dislike most about this watch later. Firstly, it is not great that only one watch face can be added to the HK9 Pro. In comparison, competitors can have 7 or even 10 watch faces loaded at the same time. Apart from that, the screen and animations are very smooth. You won't find features such as scrolling text or transparent backgrounds in competitors' products. Honestly, I haven't tried the sensors on the watch. In my opinion, even the Apple Watch sensors are not accurate enough, medical devices are the most accurate. However, I can say that the sensors on the HK9 Pro are consistent with its before results. One thing I wanted to mention in the feature section is that the watch has a compass which was not available in the earlier versions. Yes, that's correct, most of the watches produced this year have a compass, whereas older models did not. Also, there is a game on the watch. It may not be a god of war, but it is still a game. Now, let's close this unpleasant thing and take a look at the phone application. If you have many watch applications on your phone, it may take some time to remember which one was the HK9 Pro app. Take your time and try to recall the name or look for it in your app menu. And this is the thing I dislike the most about this watch. There shouldn't be this much advertisement on a phone application. If I can get rid of the ads, I'll show you how they made half of the watch faces paid. Dear Werfit Pro application, people choose you instead of an Apple Watch just to save some money. Your app should not make us your source of income. Besides, you should also focus on other aspects that make you different from Apple. I see, these are new watch faces and many of them are paid watch faces. However, I must admit that the watch also has many free watch faces. I will pick one for you and show you how long it takes to download. By the way, if you like the watch, the link is available in the video description. I see, and when it comes to finding and downloading watch faces, I should also mention that this watch doesn't have a palm to close feature and it does have an always on display, although the screen still turns off after a certain amount of time. It would be good if they added simple features like waking up the screen when you touch its screen. In summary, the smooth and responsive performance of the watch, as well as its attractive and customizable watch faces. The convenience of having notifications, messages and phone calls accessible on my wrist, which saves me time and helps me stay connected on the go. Although the waterproof level seems insufficient, I did not have any problems. I thought that the screen glass would be scratched very easily, but I look at it every day, but there was not even a scratch. Finally, I want to show you the highest volume level of the watch. It's not a very loud sound, but it's satisfying enough. If you've decided to buy one of these watches for yourself, I've added the AliExpress store links that sell them in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Hi, can you hear me good? Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.